Did you know there is a secret sea that disappeared completely, completely gone from planet Earth? And now we are trying to bring back the sea. Let me tell you a crazy story that you have never heard before. In Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan, there is a huge sea called Aral Sea. 50 years ago, the Soviets used its water for cotton fields, and that activity dried up the sea. The fish died, animals disappeared, and the sea evaporated into a salty desert, causing sandstorms. The fourth biggest sea in the world, gone. But now, we are trying to bring it back. You may not know about this, but hundreds of millions of dollars are spent to bring back the sea by planting trees around it. These trees here are planted on the bottom of the seabed. Why? To create a protective forest which will stop sandstorms in this area. Just look at this. They built forests to protect the sea. Then they built hospitals to protect the humans. This hospital here may be the first climate change hospital. It is built by the United Arab Emirates as a gift to treat people with health issues from the drying sea. This hospital cost $27 million, but it is necessary. The name of this project is Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan uh, Hospital for Women and Children. This hospital will help the population in this region uh, to have a good medical services. And most importantly, people stopped wasting water like before. Now, farmers around the sea cannot waste water. They have to use drip irrigation, which is a drop-by-drop -drop water system that saves more than 50% of water. This technology system is good for the farmer and good for the planet. Slowly but surely, water is evaporating less. And at least in the northern part of the Aral Sea, fish is coming back. The European Union donated $5 million. Norway donated $1 million. United Arab Emirates donated $7 million more. Imagine this much money, hospitals, trees, dams, farms, just to bring back a dying sea. We may not bring back all the water, but at least we can slow it down. This trip taught me a lesson. It taught me that nature is not a joke. Climate change is not a joke. But if we really try, it is possible to save our planet. <laughs>